I blinked once and over a year has passed. Oh my god, you know the first part where it starts up? It shows all the rule sets. Yeah, apparently that's what they call game modes now. They call them rule sets. If you add a lot of custom rule sets, the opening screen starts to look like really funny. Man, calling them rule sets is so weird. Man, I'm like afraid to record myself live playing Osu Laser because the last time that happened, I broke my keyboard. We'll see you next time. Hmm, okay, let's try. I'm really dumb! So sadly enough, this is not my first playthrough of this. This is not a blind reaction. The truth is that this is like a redo of like what I was going to originally make, which was like a TLDR of the changelog. But then I realized that what's the point of making a video like that when the official Ozu channel already covers all of the changelogs themselves? So I decided, okay, let me just redo all this with more opinion. But in any case, I'll just talk about the newest changes in Osu Laser. So the first most obvious thing is that they have a new skin. They call it Argon. Right, Osu Laser lets you submit scores now. They have their own laser leaderboards. All right, the way they adjust hit error now is a little interesting. You can see it here. Uh, I want to access the menu. Plus and minus does not work in this game still. Yeah, how am I supposed to adjust offset? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It says here, collaborate. Okay. The collaboration thing is really cool, but I can't access it while I'm paused. I mean, you can't adjust offset while you're paused in stable either, but you could adjust stuff like beat my background dim and stuff. Which is uh, an option that is like inside that panel. Let me just show you the other default skin. They added a version called Argon Pro. Yep. I don't think I'll ever get used to this look of Osu. It's so weird that everything in the background is like blurred out. I mean, I know you see like a cropped version of the background here, but like, can you imagine how I felt that like my last plate, which by the way is a new thing they added, is full of maps where I wanted to look at the background. So I would start it, look at the background, and then not play it. Like this one. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the pro variant of the skin. It's. The same, as if they removed the hit 300s, which is pretty epic, and new hit sounds. Right, another new thing that they've added is the leaderboards you can see during solo play. I would unironically use the Argon Pro skin, it's actually really nice. Honestly, in a way, Argon just reminds me of something I've tried to skin like multiple times. One thing that's definitely missing a laser compared to Stable is you can't press tab to hide this thing, and that is so bad. <laughs> they give you an option to turn it off forever in the settings, but damn, you know, sometimes I want to see where I am during breaks. Okay, there is one way to turn it off during gameplay, and that's by using shift tab to hide everything. But uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the hit error is gone. <laughs> can I just fix it? I actually pressed Control Shift A and the game crashed. Uh, okay, I don't think it's coming back. Wait, it's still hidden. Oh, okay. Damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, Argon has like other skin variants for it as well. All right. <laughs> okay, I read the changelog. This is just a placeholder, but oh, that looks so stupid. This is kind of nice, isn't it? Personally, I will make the lanes all better, but it's fine. And I kind of play bad on the skin, but it's, it's, it's the default skin. Everyone plays bad on it. Okay, now this is the part where I introduce the thing that I don't like about difficulty sort in laser. So basically, when it comes to difficulty sort on Osu Stable, you see it'll show like individual difficulties. But then on laser, it already automatically shows you like entire map sets. You're scrolling through your BMS set and you have so much clutter because one map set has like a billion difficulties. But well, this is something they're going to fix in a couple of months, so here's to hoping for that. Right, they also changed difficulty range to the song select, which is a change that I really like. Okay, but the funny part is when you go to keys equal 7, why is every key a different color? Even Poppin doesn't do something as drastic as this. There's like a very special thing to laser, you know, like each time I play laser, I always feel like I'm a god, but then I look over my accuracy and it's... I have definitely submitted a score on laser on this thing. It's with Hidden Heart Rock, and I can't download the replay. Like, I made it on this PC. I did it like what? Yesterday. All right. Speaking of which, I completely forgot that like they added like a clock here and it's like, that's nice. And other than the clock, they also added the FPS counter like in stable. Right, I haven't shown you guys how catch the beat Argon looks like. I don't like it, I'm so sorry. It feels really hard to read, <laughs> like to know where your plate is because like the entire line is like... The entire line is a line! I can't be the only person who finds this really hard to see, right? <laughs> well, this is still work in progress, I'm sure. They're still developing the game, they can change it. 
the game crashed again. Right, there's one other really huge update they added to later. And that's the way they dim the circles before they appear. It's really hard to explain. So let's refer to this visual that the laser devs has put on the change log. And I wonder how much gamma abuse you can get out of this. It was something I didn't notice at first. Until I played AR-10. And man, suddenly fell faster. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. I think it's a good change. But I did notice that I could suddenly read AR-8. The mods panel is now different. You know, you can hold shift and like use your scroll wheel to move left and right. Pretty cool. I think we've gotten to the point with way too many fun mods. Yeah, they added new mods again. <laughs> but I like how this panel looks like a lot more. But damn, when they put it like this together, it really goes to show like, oh my god, there is so many things going on <laughs> in this game now. I'm glad they added this personal preset panel. So what you do is like you select stuff like easy, perfect, okay. The most painful mod combination. There we go. Then you can click on this and you get like easy and perfect. Right, I have one more nitpick about the game actually. Okay, so when you pause, right? In stable, you can use Z and X or whatever your keybinds are to press continue, retry, or quit. But you can't do that in laser. I think this might be something they have completely forgotten about. Oh yeah, they added an update button. It's small and I don't like it. Oh right, by the way, if you want this like all mods you're holding right now, just press backspace. In stable is one. You can rebind it. Yep, doesn't work. Space works though. So it's a nitpick, honestly. Other new things they've added is that you can randomize your skin. I... Why wasn't this in stable? Right, and one other thing they've added is hits on stereo separation. Like, instead of just turning it off and on, you can adjust how much of it you want. And if you don't know what hits on stereo separation is, it's basically like, whatever is on the left side of your screen, the hit circles or whatever, they'll play on the left side of your headphones and vice versa for the stuff on the right. All I can say is, um, that's really cool. I don't like it though. This legitimately gives me an ASMR response and I have never felt so uncomfortable playing Osu before. Ugh. Speaking of ASMR response, there's been a lot of sound effect changes in the game. Like, rub this thing, there's a sound. And it also gives me the tingles. Ugh. Apparently the hit error bar was made to be more readable. But I'm so sorry. I don't think so. I love laser leaderboards, it makes you feel like a god at a game. Oh, because nobody plays laser! Oh, okay, that's pretty nice. You can pause songs on like the end screen. Okay, yeah, I want to talk about like this thing here. You can click on this, and now you can see the hit error distribution with the judgment colors. That's nice. They added the max combo counter to the score panel, and I don't know if you noticed, but the background for each score panel corresponds to the banner you set on your profile. I am split on this decision. It's nice. It's just that, oh my goodness, with all these things that the devs are putting in, how in the world is anyone going to be able to skin this? I'm starting to think that you can't skin anything except for gameplay anymore. <laughs> they added a new chat design. Now it is actually not a pain to look at compared to before. But the thing is, I still don't think I can find you guys. If you guys send me a message, I will probably see it. But if I'm trying to find you again, I will never be able to find you. This thing is in a dire need of a search bar. Right, when you spam a bunch of messages, you can actually press up and down arrows to see the previous message you sent. That's something that happens in stable. The other thing you can do is that you can right click names to mention them in the chat. That's pretty nice. The one thing I noticed is that if you click on someone's profile in the dashboard, like F9 right now, I don't think you can message them from here. Zeshi was trying to invite me to multiplayer room, which, right, you can't invite people to multiplayer rooms yet. <laughs> you can report people for nonsense in the client. What is nonsense? <laughs> they added a couple of changes to multiplayer, like you can filter between public and private now, which is pretty cool. I am so sorry this video is everywhere, guys. There's like so many changes. I don't even know where to start. Like, this is the change log notes I made for my previous laser video, and this is the one that I made for this video. That is a lot. That's actually impressive. In, in like a year and two months. Jesus Christ. As much as I'm complaining, Good job, Peppy. Good job. So yeah, they added this thing where there's an automatic countdown timer in multiplayer. So you just click down here and then you can start the match. Me and Zeshi were testing this yesterday and... You... Up. Oh, okay. So you both have to be ready for it to work. Oh, that's Are we playing so Airman? strange. No, we're not. I don't want to play Airman. Screw this. <laughs> and also when I first read that they added countdown, the first thing I did was write MP start 5 and it didn't work. So there's another thing they added, it's normalizing combo colors. This is when you play with maps with like really dark or bright combo colors and you want like normalize it. Oh, I don't think this is supposed to happen. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I guess it's something they gotta fix. Another thing that they've added is how notifications work. So when you get a notification, you can flick it to the left to dismiss it forever. And you can fling it to the right to save it to the overlay. Yeah, it was saved here. We're playing Tinder swipes with our notifs now, huh? <laughs> so before I go over the new mods, let's talk about the skinning panel. Black box. Oh, I love the black box. You can drag and drop elements now. 
it doesn't seem to do anything except be an image. So I wonder how they're gonna use this. They added a couple of stuff for gameplay, like a new hit error thing. Oh, they added a click per second counter. That's epic. And they also added a BPM counter. I think this dynamic. So if you're playing something like Delta Max, where the BPM is like going up constantly, I think you will see it go up. It's also new things like like the longest combo counter. Uh oh, there's a UR counter. I think they also added a new accuracy counter. So this accuracy counter, there's two of them. You can change it to be the maximum that you've gotten and the minimum. So one of them counts from 100 and the other counts from zero. Like think of the accuracy in my Mai. How accuracy works in Osu right now is that it just takes the accuracy of all the hit objects you've just hit. But for counting from 100, it counts like all of the objects in the map as like perfect already, except for the ones you made mistakes on. And as for the one that's zero, I, I think it's the opposite. I really like how score is calculated on the new, um, on score v2, but god damn slider accuracy. <laughs> you can pause the song while you're on the song select. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's look at the new mods. One thing I noticed is that they changed blinds. Now it's, um, they changed it to window. <laughs> They added a new mod called Magnetized. You can change how strong the magnetism strength is. It used to be called aim assist. And if it's not obvious enough, magnetism basically makes the circles attracted to you. I mean, it kind of looks like the wiggle mod at first, but it's not. Okay, let me show you what happens when I said to the max. I feel like everything in laser needs a search bar. If I had a search bar here, it would be kind of easy to remove it. Whoa, look at this! <laughs> It's okay, this is like almost an excuse for autopilot or something. All this attraction, I still can't attract any person. So, yeah, for the flip side of this mod, there's repel. But the interesting thing I noticed about repel is that on max setting for repel, the repel strength is not as intense as the attraction one. Go away from me. I am a gamer in the anime convention without deodorant. Adaptive speed is a weird one. You can customize it. Basically, how this mod works is that it pitches based on how early or late you're hitting. So if you're overstreaming, the song goes faster. If you're understreaming, it goes slower. And that is the worst rendition I've heard of end time. I don't know what you will ever use this mod for, honestly. Like, I I've reached a point of thinking a lot of the fun mods are like ridiculous. Okay, so the next one will be freeze frame. How do I start about this? So um, freeze frame is basically, it jump scares you with all of one combo at once. Oh my goodness. This is like AR0 for one combo. The only time I can see anyone using this is with easy, which I think would actually go pretty well. So the circle stay on the screen longer. Never mind, this looks worse. So if it shows everything based on combo, what happens if you made everything one combo? Uh, the game hanged again. Oh, it saved. Okay, it took a bit. Why is my mouse cursor frozen? It managed to show the pop. Oh, okay, it worked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, my computer's dying. Okay, what if I turned on easy? I wish I could properly record this, but I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing like a slideshow as a video right now. This is AR0. You're basically diffusing a bomb here. Okay, so that was all the fun stuff they added. They added a couple of other stuff that's not as ridiculous. This one is the alternate mod. Yeah, so you're forced to alternate on this mod. Reminds me of a mod that I played of Osu Laser like years ago. So if you try single tapping, it just will not accept your inputs. So on the flip side, you have the, the single tap mod where you're only allowed to use one key. This didn't need to be a mod, to be honest. Just set your keybind to like one key. But I mean, they added the alternate mod, so they gotta add a single tap mod, right? <laughs> Here's another mod that's really good. It's called Accuracy Challenge. And this one, you get to set what accuracy you want to set at minimum. So let's say 99. And I'm not gonna turn on Resolve Fail. Basically, it means that if I don't have 99% accuracy, I'm gonna fail. And I think it applies to the normal standard accuracy. Oh. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna set the reset. I don't constantly need to be pressing the map over and over. They have this same mod in Sound Vortex actually. Okay, maybe it was a mistake. Could you like have leeway for the first five seconds? You have to get like the first few notes perfect on accuracy challenges. That's not how accuracy works, you know? They should have a setting or outright change accuracy challenge to follow your overall accuracy on a song. This is how Sound Vortex does it actually. So you don't have this situation where a person fails or has to restart right at the beginning of the song because they pressed like not perfect. Trick tracking, uh, this one is, um, it has to do with sliders. It basically means that you have to follow every slider tick. If not, you won't get uh, perfect on a slider. You will just RM miss it. Like for example like this. Yeah. Usually you will get like a uh, 100 if you miss any slider ticks. 
But for this, if you don't hit all the side attacks, you get an immediate miss. I'm not sure people would use this mod actually. Kind of like sudden death. People have the choice to use it, they don't really use it. I think that's it for the mods. Did they add like a couple of settings for other mods? Like now for Wiggle, you have a strength setting. The circles. They look afraid to be hit. Flash type now is able to be customized, which is a really weird thing. It just feels wrong to be able to make flash like easier. I'm basically not using flashlight. Yeah, I think that's about it actually. And the very last thing they've added in laser is this thing called the latency certifier. Yeah, the latency certifier. Um, this thing is... Uh, the, it asks you which one you find is better. It doesn't seem to be something that affects your gameplay. It's more like a thing that tests your perception <laughs> of your frame rate. It's like this thing that proves to you that it's okay to not set your FPS to unlimited. <laughs> you can change the display to make it mania. And you can make it this... I don't really know what that is, actually. Oh, is it like a blinking square? But yeah, that's basically the latency certifier. Oh yeah, you can also delete all beatmap videos, which is something I wish wasn't stable. So yay, laser added something like everyone wants. Speaking of hope to confirm things, you can click on the beatmap listing to download stuff. But now, the featured artist filter is on by default. If you want to turn it off, you click on it, and there will be a disclaimer about copyright and stuff. You gotta hope to accept this one, <laughs> even if you have your... Hold delay set to basically nothing. <laughs> That's about it for laser. I actually quite like the client, except for whatever I complained about earlier. And I'm still extremely nervous about scanning on this client because I have no idea how that's going to come out. If there's anything that's still missing, it's well, you still can't story about yet. And honestly, like I feel like the big reason why people are turned off laser other than the missing features or people complaining that you can't run their PCs is uh, it's called V2. Uh, I will have to accept it eventually someday when Stable is no longer being updated. And I hope you guys find this video interesting today. I wanted to look at the mobile version of Laser, but I don't think we have time today. So, see ya!